is a purpose-powered advertising platform. We help brands do good profitably at scale. I started Good Loop six and a half years ago and I was, I was working in advertising. I was uh, working at Ogilvy and I loved it. I love advertising. I find it such a creative and interesting industry. Um, and I remember I was working on a brief. It was for a fabric conditioner. So it was very glamorous. And um, we, it was a product that used one less bucket of water to rinse. The, the product was called One Rinse. So I was sat late at night with the planner, you know, doing some back of the fag packet maths. And um, we were thinking, right, one less bucket of water per family. And, you know, maybe they're going to do three loads of laundry a week. Uh, and, you know, so it's this many days in the week and this many weeks in the year. And this product's going out in Vietnam, Thailand, Indonesia, Singapore, Philippines. Suddenly, the amount of water that this one product was going to save was just more water than I'll use in my whole life. And I think there were lots of little moments that made me want to run my own business and, and do my own thing. But that definitely was the moment that I decided I wanted to dedicate my career to helping big global businesses make tiny little changes that have ripples throughout the world. Uh, and today, Good Loop is a team of 50 people. We have offices in Scotland, London, and New York. And we work with some of the biggest brands in the world. So how it works is super simple. Basically, uh, let's say you're on the New York Times and you're going to watch a video. Good Loop will appear in the pre-roll before that video. So it's skippable. You don't have to watch. We'll never force a view. But if you choose to give that advertiser a little bit of your precious time and attention, then you unlock a donation funded by that brand. So you, the user, get to do good for free just by giving a bit of your attention. And for the advertiser, you get increases in engagement, but also, you know, higher ad recall. It's more memorable, right? Because you get to um, you get to choose a charity, you get to get that dopamine hit, you get to do a little bit of good. We recently did a really lovely campaign with Bounty and Obviously their platform is all around sort of less mess, more trees and sort of celebrating the sustainability that's baked into the product and the brand. We had a fantastic piece of creative that um, was wrapped in our interactive ad format. And when you watch the ad, it actually unlocked a donation to fund the Nature Conservancy, a charity that is a huge partner um, of, the, of the Bounty team and, and, and a charity that, that's really proud to be a part of this campaign. So because of that sort of really ethical incentive, the Bounty team saw a fantastic uplift in completed view rates, which of course is brilliant because you want to get consumers engaging in that content and really earning some of their time. We also saw uplifts in consideration versus the competitor set, which I think is a lovely illustration of how you know, sustainability is key to differentiation in category. And nicest of all, we planted tens of thousands of trees across the United States that exist today because of that campaign. And that's a really lovely result. So to date, we have raised just over $7 million for amazing charities around the world. And, and it really is such a broad range. I mean, we've funded turtle nest mapping projects and human rights campaigns and everything in between. Uh, and remember, that's media dollars. That's not CSR budgets. That's money that would have otherwise gone to Google or Facebook or the same old players. But instead, we're using media money to drive engagement, to earn attention and in exchange, make these amazing donations. Um, and I think that transparency you know, about how much we raise and, and how the money flows, I think is a really, really important part of the business overall. Transparency is kind of rare in our industry, and it's so important for an advertiser to have v visibility over how the money is being spent and, and how much of the dollars are actually ending up with the publishers and ending up, you know, going through the system. So we really operate a radical transparency framework. We also are a B corporation. So uh, that means that, you know, as a, as a board member and as a, an owner of, of the company, if Good Loop were a regular business, then my only legal responsibility would be to make money for my shareholders. But because we're a B Corporation, we've actually changed our articles of association so that my, I legally am entitled to make decisions that sacrifice profit in the interests of purpose. You know, and I, and I know that the, I think you, 
the positioning of, of good growth and, and, and making sure that you don't sacrifice profit and purpose and the two can work together. I know that that's a really big part of the P&G business and I, it's something I really believe in. But there are moments where I need to be able to be empowered as a leader to make those decisions. And that transparency I have with my team and with my customers is, is really, really important. So it's something that we're, we're proud of. Look, it's, it's amazing that we've raised a lot of money for charity. It, it gets me out of bed in the morning, but at the end of the day, we're a business, right? And so Goodloop is a profit-making company. Every brand we work with is a profit-making company and we have business results that we need to deliver against. So it's really, really important when I'm, you know, when I'm working with my salespeople, when I'm talking to our clients, when we're, when we're going out to market, we have to focus on how we deliver ROI. So from a business perspective, the way that Goodloop works is we charge on a cost per success model. So if you skip the ad, if you don't swipe up, if you don't engage, if you don't scan, whatever it is, whatever the engagement metric is, if you choose not to give that advertiser your time, you don't pay a cent. But when consumers lean in and they choose to give that time or attention, then they unlock the donation and we charge the advertiser. So we charge on a cost per success model. And really the way we make money is that we increase the success of the inventory. We increase the value of the inventory we buy. Um, and that arbitrage between the CPM and the CPCV or whatever the, the buying model is, that, that's how we can afford to make the donation. But from an advertiser's perspective, we give 50% of every dollar to a good cause, which is, of course, money that is working media. You know, that's money that you need to spend wisely. But when you consider that every consumer knows the value of their time, we're increasingly aware of our value as consumers, especially online. Um, it isn't just a donation. It is also how you earn the right to a consumer's eyeballs and how you break through the noise and, and create advertising that is truly interesting. We've done quite a bit of research into how the consumer reacts to the ads. And you know, one thing we've really found is the power of a countdown. We all love a countdown timer. It's something inherent in human nature. There's the curiosity of what will happen at the end. So in many of our ad units, we'll have a countdown mechanic. Um, often very close to the skip button. So it's really clear that if you don't press skip and you get to the end of the countdown, then you're going to unlock some reward. Um, and the other thing that we find really interesting is the, the charity choice. So often we'll feature a couple of different causes um, or you, we ran a campaign with Pantene in the UK and um, all the money went to Gendered Intelligence, which is this fantastic charity that support trans and gender non-binary people in the beauty industry. But the consumer got to choose which project Pantene funded, whether it was their work in schools and youth programs or their helpline or their counselling and therapy sessions. So the consumer was very you know, involved and in, interactive in that experience. Um, and that gives us really interesting insight. So we worked with a, a brand recently. They featured three charities, uh, one of which was uh, the WWF, the World Wildlife Foundation, not the wrestling. And um, we found that the WWF got over 70% of the consumer vote. So it was a really interesting piece of feedback and insight to the brand about which charity is resonating most with their target audience. So, so yeah, there's some really nice sort of interactivity and insight that you can get from how consumers respond to the advertising. I've kind of watched purpose evolve, right? I mean, 2014, there were these early studies that sort of suggested sustainable brands were also, you know, faster growing and, and, and brands had started dipping their toe. And, and then there's things like throw like a girl, you know, these really iconic purpose moments. And now today it's grown arms and legs. I mean, there are so many different ways advertisers have to show up in society. And I think thinking of consumers as citizens and thinking of our responsibility and our citizenship as, as brands is a really, really helpful way of framing it. So Good Loop's vision is to be the one-stop shop for brands to show up in the world responsibly. And that is their sustainability, their net zero targets, their, their funding of climate journalism, their planting trees, you know, all of the work they're doing to protect and preserve the planet. It's their DNI initiatives. You know, every big business has to be taking this seriously, both internally, but also externally, how you talk to consumers, how you represent those consumers. And I love the widen the screen initiative and some of the work that you're doing to lean in here. You know, but how can we make sure we're funding those publishers? How can we make sure we're funding those communities? 
And then, of course, the final pillar is the social impact piece. What are the causes that are really specifically aligned to our brands and our businesses? You know, whether it's you know, Pampers supporting the the, diaper, the National Diaper Bank. You know, there, there's so many lovely ways that brands can shape a tiny piece of the world, their, their corner of the world and make it better. And so I want Good Loop to be the platform that helps them plan, execute and measure their social responsibility in advertising. 